Hi, I'm Howard from the Mr. Food Task Kitchen. And if you love bacon, you're gonna love what we're cooking up today. When you're making bacon in a skillet, you wanna take your bacon and put it into a cold pan, not a hot pan. And it's okay if you overlap the bacon because as it cooks, it will shrink. So we'll put all of our bacon into the pan like this. And again, it's fine if you crowd it because it will shrink as you cook. Once all our bacon's in the pan, we're gonna cook it low and slow. When you're cooking bacon, it's a good idea to use a splatter screen like this. This way, the grease that splatters ends up on the screen rather than all over your kitchen. Now, we take our bacon and we flip it. And again, I like to flip it a couple times. This way it cooks nice and evenly. And you can see it shrunk so there's more room in the pan. And if there's a lot of grease in the pan, you can use a baster like this and just suck it right out and put it into a bowl. This way it won't splatter as much. Now you can cook the bacon as crispy as you like. You wanna make sure the meat part is cooked through. Once it's done, we drain it on paper towel. And when it comes to the bacon drippings, don't throw those away. When they cool slightly, store them in a can, a bottle, or a plastic container. This way you'll have it for cooking. Great taste. Now, let's try our bacon. Ooh, it's so good. 